Hi guys and welcome back to part two of uh, risk versus reward. So this is where we're going to be showing you just what you need to do in order to make some massive profits and small little tiny losses. Also, if you didn't actually see part one and you want to know more about knowing about stop losses and how that affects your profitability over time and uh, how, many, how many losses you can actually take before you lose all your money, it's a lot more than you think. But for now, let's just jump into the basics, the basics that pretty much everybody teaches, everybody knows. The reason for that is this stuff actually comes from the banks, it comes from the exchanges, and it's because it's not actually in your best interest, it's more in their best interest. So the, the idea is that you set a stop loss and you set a, a take profit, and the stop loss is normally a lot lower than the gain, just like you see here. So we're, we're risking this amount here, and our potential gain is three times the amount of the stop loss. So um, just here you can see the risk versus reward and you can drag this up or bring this down so you could go to sort of a five to one ratio for risk reward. Uh, the normal that you'd find would be about three that most people would use. And in this instance, we're actually gonna be looking at a trade which I did a couple of years ago where I turned $300 into over $5,000 in just one month. And uh, this is exactly how I did that. So this is trading XRP, and I would have bought it at just over 18 cents, 18 whatever it was. So this is roundabout. Now, I don't actually use stop losses at all when I'm trading. So, but I think with eToro, you had to set a stop loss. I think it was just like all the way, like 100%, because I just, I don't really use stop losses at all. And you're gonna see why right now. So if I was to use a stop loss, and I was good to use this conventional way, which a lot of people teach, because again, this is what comes out of the banks, the exchanges, because it's in their best interest, okay? Not your best interest, but their best interest. Um, if you was to use that, then this is what would happen. So where is the little play button here? So we're just gonna start playing through what actually happens next. So it looks good, and we bought in there at 18 and a half-ish, and we'd be looking, wow, right there, we've already took profit. So we took profit there at 32 cents because that would have been the three to one ratio. However, um, I don't know where it's going right now. Um, wow, that, that is a lot of profit to be missing out on. And let's just, let's just speed this up a little bit. And let's just bring this chart down because it just keeps rising. Uh, and all of a sudden our really good three to one profit ratio isn't looking quite so interesting anymore because um, there we go and it's coming back down again. As you can see here in the greater scheme of things our little three to one conventional way of uh, trading we missed out on huge gains and we made peanuts where we could have made an absolute fortune. So a much better way to trade is just to go with the trend so if if the coin is doing really, really well, just hold it until that trend changes and then sell it rather than having a predetermined uh, place where you're gonna take profit or, or accept a loss in the case of a stop loss. Rather than doing that, because these markets are really, really volatile, especially with cryptocurrency. So you don't really wanna be taking losses where you don't need to. And you also don't wanna, definitely don't wanna be taking profits far too early. You know, I'm sure you've all heard about letting your profits run and, and letting them go up. Well, don't set a, uh, a hard take profit. At the end of the day, what it all comes down to is these figures right here, okay? It's the average wins, the average losses, and then your win to lose ratio. And that is really gonna determine at the end of the day what your profit and loss is on the strategy it is that you use to trade. So in this case, we, we've just got one win and one loss. In this case right here, we're basically making one, whether that's one Bitcoin, one dollar, one pound, whatever, whatever it is, whatever the, the, the figure is, but we're making one and we're losing one and the win to lose is, is both 50-50. However, just imagine that you had a strategy where instead of only winning five out of 10, you actually won eight out of 10, even though you're winning one and losing one, you know, there's not a lot in there, but you're still making money purely because your ability to predict a winning trade is much higher. Alternatively though, you could go straight back there to, to just a 50-50, but if your win is the three to one, which you know a lot of people like to look for, the three to one, then again, you're making profit. However, if this was to slip down to maybe only two wins, all of a sudden you're making a loss. And that right there really is 
the fundamentals of that you need to know. These are the fundamental figures that you need to know on your strategy, whatever you're using to trade with, so that you can know and be confident that when you're taking a loss, which you will do, absolutely. If you've seen that last video, you know taking losses is all part of the game. And when you do take that loss, you know that your strategy over time averages out and you are gonna be winning overall. So let me show you some examples now. So over on our website, we have our free signals. If you come here to uh, earn Bitcoin, and if you log in, you get to be able to see a lot more signals. So I am logged in right now. Um, I believe if you're not logged in, it only shows like 10 or 15 or something. And really, really simple signals. These are based on daily uh, charts. So it, you re only really have to check in once per day. So really easy to follow manually. Uh, HODL basically means that you've bought and now you're just holding, holding onto that coin. Whereas wait out will mean that you've sold and you're waiting for an opportunity to buy. And then obviously buy means buy and sell would mean sell. So we've got quite a few here today actually coming on to buy. I believe in the last video, everything was pretty much on way out because uh, the market just kept going down and down and down. So we've got some of these, what we've got PIVX, Ontology, VeChain, XRP, Zcoin, and Zilliqa as well, all on buy today. So I should imagine the market is really starting to bottom out right now because Bitcoin has been going up. In fact, if we just have a look here, this is Bitcoin. It's been going up quite nicely. Let's get rid of that. We won't be needing that now. And uh, yeah, so let's have a look. What was we looking at? Zilliqa, right here, you can see bottomed out over here on the, uh, that you can't see, I believe oh, my, my head is in the way. Let me see if I can move myself for you. There we go, that's a bit better. Okay, so uh, right here you can see the MACD just crossed over there. Also down here on the RSI, just breaking up from this oversold area. And these candles here starting to turn green, starting to come back upwards. So it looks like we're coming from an oversold position and starting to break upwards. Also other ones there was uh, Zcoin. You've got a similar story here, just breaking up from being oversold. And what else was there? I don't know, let's just have a look at a few. Here we've got Qtum, not quite there, there for Qtum right now. Pivx, definitely looking good. Ravencoin as well there, looking really good. So these free signals, um, which we just provide absolutely free, you don't have to pay for it at all. Um, these are really good and they are tested over time. And the problem is, is you will make losses. And a lot of people complain all the time when they start following these signals that they will take a loss. Maybe they'll take two or three in a row and they'll start c complaining about it, but it's just part of the game. You will take losses. Let's have a look at the numbers just over the last six days. So we've recently been building an API, which we're gonna be using in future for running all of our signals. So you'll be able to maybe even use your own strategies in TradingView plug them through our API, which will then be able to control your little Binance bot, which again, we're gonna be creating as well for you. So it's gonna be like a decentralized Binance bot to run all these different signals on, on your Binance account. It's gonna be awesome. But right now, this is the API. So we've been tracking those free signals over the last uh, six days. And you can see there's actually only been two trades on these free signals. And we're 50-50, we're okay? So we've got one loss and one gain. However, the gain you can see here was, was for Decreed, the loss was for Litecoin, and the loss was considerably lower than the gain. So, you know, you will take losses, but it, what matters really is just how much of a loss. Six days, not really a long enough time because those three signals, they are daily signals. So there's a lot more which have been bought, which is waiting to be sold. So we don't really have the stats back for, for those trades right now. Um, so what we've done also, it was we're also tracking the master signals. So to get to the master signals, all you need to do there, click on masters. And this, you can see the master signals right here. However, this isn't the best way to view them. So if you don't have access to this, but you wanna be trading these instead, uh, maybe you decide after watching this video, then do click that link down below in the description and it will take you to this page right here. And the reason why I should make, mention this right now, so there we go, we can click upgrade now to basically upgrade your account uh, over to the Master Ninja. And there we go, so we got 50% off right now because it was this month which I wrote the Bitcoin multiplier method. So from the 5th of November 
um, back until the uh, Black Friday later on this month. We're actually going to put 50% off on the Master Ninja. Just sort of celebrate. We've got 25% off on the Zeller or 10% there. If you want full access, if you want to actually be able to see everything for 12 months, uh, it's just this 50% off right now, which is pretty, pretty good. But now back to the Masters area. So yes, you can use those signals. And again, you know, a lot of people will run through this and they'll start complaining. They'll say, hey, you know, it says here, you know, like buy IOTA down here at this price. And then later on, it will say to sell IOTA and it's a price and it would be at a loss. And then they start sort of complaining and saying, how can I make money? How can I make money if I'm going to take a loss? Well, the thing is, is you will take losses, okay? This is how trading works. As long as the losses are less than the gains or just the volume, if it is that you know, you're know you making 90% wins and only 20% uh, or 10%, sorry, losses, it's gonna make a big, big difference. So in this case, as you will see in a minute, the master signals are absolutely phenomenal, okay? So yeah, you're definitely gonna take losses. You're gonna take losses 50% of the time, but the gains are definitely better. If you do decide, that you want to follow these master signals, then rather than doing it here on the master trading signals, because that's like the part of the old website, it's not really properly updated. If you come here to the uh, the portfolio tracker, all you need to do is put in the value of your trading account. So let's just say we've got two Bitcoin in there. You know, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? So say we've got two Bitcoin and it just works out how much of each coin you should be holding rather than you having to physically work out what would like, 5% per lot B, 5% per coin, 2% per coin, whatever you're trading, okay? So it basically works out depending on how many coins it is that you're trading. So in this case, we're using the MCN 50, so we're trading 50 coins. And with that Cardano, I'd need to be holding 6,000 Cardano. Um, but if I was only to use a, a custom coin, so if you uh, go up to the top, you can actually change this to a custom list. So you just go there. And they change it. There's other videos we've done on that. But what are the actual figures? Let's take a look. So right here are the master signal figures. So we've been running these again for about six days. And we've still got about 50% winners. So it's kind of like a coin flip. Yeah, we're just flipping a coin. It might be a winner. It might not be. There's a bit more to it than that. But uh, yeah, when it comes to winners and losers, we only take a small loss. This is the most important thing. We're only taking a small loss on a loss and we're taking a big win. So that's like two, 2.3 on a loss, whereas we're taking 5.8 or call it 6%. This was 6% yesterday um, if there's a gain. So yesterday, this is how it would have been looking. So say it's a three to one and uh, we're looking at those 50, oh 50, <laughs> okay, we're looking at, five to five yeah 50 50 pretty much so five out of ten wins and yeah we're definitely profitable as you can see over there now even if this drops down to just two so it's only a sort of two to one ratio on, on the win over the loss we're still going to be profitable so even though the odds if you like are only 50 50 you can still make really, really good money. In fact, let's just say that you had a strategy that you were getting five to one, and I don't think there's really any automated strategies where you're gonna be able to consistently get that. I've tried, okay, over the last two years. Um, but for automated strategies, two to one, three to one, it's pretty good. But five to one, I, I just I just can't, can't seem to be able to find anything that will work. But yeah, if you were doing that on 50-50, you're making 20 profit there and you can actually go down. So let's just say you went down to only four, so that's 40% winners. So you're making more losers than winners at five to one, you're still looking just good. And if you went down to three, only three out of 10 winners, then you're still making profit. If you go down to two, just two out of 10 winners, you are still making profit with a five to one ratio. So that's definitely, what you should be aiming for if you possibly can. But as I said earlier, when we first began this video, um, you will get times when it will just go to the moon and you don't wanna set a hard target for a take profit. Just let them go. What we're looking for is a strategy that has an average 
of a sort of five to one ratio, okay? You want an average on a strategy that you can trade all of the time, not just something that will one off like XRP. I mean, it's never done it again since. It was just a one off thing that it just had that huge massive gain. But you need a great rule based strategy, which is gonna get you out of that market before you end up coming all the way back down again. As, as I'm sure you're aware, XRP never stayed up at $3. It came all the way back down. I think it even went down to 13. So you'd have actually lost money. So hey, we had this first of all, this was the free signals that we've been tracking and the average winter loss is looking extremely good, but obviously uh, there is only two trades on the book so far over the last six days. Then we've got the master signals, which are the, the free hourly version of the master signals. And uh, this would make you 15%, 15% in six days, which is pretty good, I can tell you now. Really great that you can do this. Oh, the, by the way, 15% uh, that is of your total. Whereas if you're looking down here somewhere, you might be looking at band and seeing that that's up 61%, uh, which is crazy. Uh, and it's also got 77% winners, okay? But obviously that is on, uh, we're trading 10 coins here on, the, on well, while we're tracking, so this is just 10 coins. And that means that each individual coin only represents 10% of the total account value. So this up here where you see all, this is the total account value. Whereas these down here are the stats on the individual coins being traded. Okay, so um, yeah, band, band's done exceptionally well. Obviously that isn't gonna continue. It's just because over the last six days, that was just how it was. You know, some of these will be doing bad right now, like Cardano and uh, Litecoin right there at the bottom. But I'm sure that given enough time, that will even out over the next few months. Now what's even better than the free hourly is when we use the same master signal strategy on a 15 minute strategy instead. So here we go, 15 minutes, been following this. Now the, uh, the, the wins to losses isn't as good and also the actual percentage of wins isn't looking so good either. So we're actually down there with less than 50%. However, look how much we've made. We've made 21% profit. The reason is, is that we're still making more than we're losing and we've done considerably more trades. So here we've actually done in the last six days or nearly seven days now, uh, 858 trades based on that one. Whereas the last one, we've only done 87 trades. So this is something you might be able to do manually I personally couldn't, I prefer a daily strategy, just trade once per day, um, something like this, or at least the master signals version of this actually gives much better results. But again, it's a very slow trading strategy. If you're looking at trading bot, which is something that we're building right now, to be using something like this, to be trading 850 trades in six days is crazy. And then you can make uh, gains like that, 21%, it's insane. And hey, if you want to uh, get a copy of this for yourself so you can check out your own strategies and just sort of play around with what would be profitable and what wouldn't, as you can see right here, um, this definitely wouldn't be profitable, then all you need to do, and this has also, by the way, got the yesterday's version in there as well, the 1%, the 2%, the 5%, so you can understand just how many losses you can take uh, before you actually lose all your money. So if you do want that, all you need to do is head over to our website, click on downloads right there. And on this page, if you scroll down, so there's the Bitcoin multiplier method. That's the reason why we've got that 50% um, off right now so for membership. So, but it's only up until the end of Black Friday. So at the end of Black Friday, that'll be coming off, it'll be back to full price. And if you're already a Master Ninja, you can actually extend your membership by 12 months at half price right now, rather than wait until your membership runs out whenever that is. So it'll just basically add on an additional 12 months. So really good, <laughs> really good. You, you definitely wanna get that, particularly because we're in the ball run, you know, it could last for some time. Um, but yeah, we're gonna find it down here. We're gonna upload it now in the next few hours, hopefully by the time this video comes out and you'll be able to download it straight from the downloads page. One thing to note as well is, you know, if you look in here, the 1%, remember, it was really, really small amounts of losses, which means you could take uh, up to here, we, we followed it all the way down to like 800 consecutive losses in a row, which is insane. I don't think anybody's ever gonna do that. And you're still gonna be able to trade, still have money in your account. 
2%. I think it was only about 400 consecutive losses, but those are very good workable strategies if you find a strategy where you're gonna have that level of drawdown. And right here on the free signals, I'm not sure if you noticed earlier, but the free signals currently anyway, at least, it's under 1% drawdown. Now that's probably gonna go up once, once it comes down. So that's pretty good, an average loss, unless there is only one. However, oh, here on the master signals where we've had 87 trades, so that's a fair amount coming in. Uh, we're just, just slight, slightly over 2%. So again, based on what we were looking at in, in the last video, that is a great strategy. Our drawdown averaging about 2% is fantastic. And if we actually go on to the smaller time frame, just 15 minutes, we're less than 1%. So we can just keep trading this strategy all the time and we're barely gonna lose anything. Even if we do hit a sort of downturn where we're taking lots and lots of losses, they're gonna be tiny and we're gonna be able to make it back. So that's it for this video. Do let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you have any strategies that we, you would like us to test out and find out what these ratios are on your strategies, then uh, do let us know, get in touch, and we'll see if we can set something up on TradingView using our API, and we'll start tracking that as well. That'd be great. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next video.